Hey, what's going on guys? It's Neil Charles back for another video, man. Pretty excited. Um, today's date is July 4, 2018, 9.38 p.m. in Marin, South Carolina. First of all, let me tell everybody happy 4th of July. Uh, I know probably some of y'all like, you know, cookouts, eating out, family time, whatever. I just hope everybody had a good time. But I had to drop this video tonight to tell y'all what's going on. Very proud of this person right here. They went up 119 points. Whew, that's a lot of points. But let me go ahead and break it down to you and leave y'all some tips and a website as well. So basically, this person went up 119 points on both bureaus. As you see right here, there was a 593. Now they're a 712 on both of them. All right, so let's go back in time. As you see, it says July 4th. We're going to go back to July 20th. Not July, June 20th, 2018. And as you see right here, they got three accounts and no credit card. Credit score 593. July 4th, the credit card reported. As you see, it went from three accounts to four accounts and their score went up. That's all that happened. It was just a credit card added to the account. That's all it is. So, breaking it down. This person told me like to look at their stuff. I was like, okay, let me check it out real quick. See what you got going on. I looked at it. I seen a big red flag. They had no data here and here. I said, that's a problem. This credit card use and payment history is a problem. And I'm going to show you why. Check out this graph right here. This is how your score is calculated for credit. As you see right here, payment history is 35% of your grade. Credit card use, that is under the level of debt is 30%. You're looking at this live. Payment history, 35%. Um, the credit card use, that's under level of debt, 30%. So 65% of your grade is credit card use and payment history. If you're a person right now today that has NA, no data available for here and here, you already missing 65% of your grade, of your credit score. That's a lot of weight. I know when I was in school, they used to say test or something to count a certain weight. You got a zero on the test. It hurt you drastically. You can make hundreds on everything else. It don't even help you. Same thing with the credit world. If this 65% of your grade and you have no data, you're missing over half of your grade. So you need to get you a credit card. So you're probably saying, Neil, okay, how I go about getting a credit card? I don't know nobody with a credit card to get added to. I don't know where to get one. My Okay, Neil, my credit score is jacked up. How can I get a credit card today? To help myself, Neil. Tell me. <clears throat> I'm about to tell y'all that right now. This um this website here, openskycc.com. All I did was go to Open Sky on Google. Just type in Google and I type Open Sky. This was the website I went to. We're gonna click on Start Now and click on More Info. You could get you a secured card right now today. There is no credit check. They don't pull your credit to get this card. Um, you get to choose your limit. The lowest you could start with is 200 bucks, which is linked to your security deposit. That means you got to have the money to put on this card. After that, the main part about this is it reports to all three major credit bureaus. That means every 30 days, that card will report when you pay it on time. So as soon as you get a card like this or any kind of credit card, if you have a good credit score, you could get a natural credit card. Um, you'll see here the following month when you get it, you'll see this right here and your score will shoot up. Now, based on this person's profile, they didn't have that many accounts. That's why this score shot up like this. So on this system, they are a 712. They went up 119 points. And mind you, this is a, this is a Vantage 3.0 system. That is not FICO score. So on a FICO scoring system, based on what I've seen over time, if you have roughly the score, you want to subtract 30 to 40 points from what you see on Credit Karma. Sometimes it varies. It it's either 30 to 40 points lower than what you see or 30 to 40 points higher based on the credit profile. That's normally what your FICO score is based on what I've seen over time. But other than that, man, very proud of this person. Um, they followed instructions. They listened, paid attention to detail. 5% credit ratio um, on the actual credit card. They followed that. Um, phenomenal job. 119 points on Credit Karma. They, um, they got a booming FICO score system, so whenever they get their FICO score stuff pulled, I'll probably drop that video and show y'all the results from that. But other than that, man, 119 point increase. Holla at your boy.